Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's been a while since I put out a video and um, just not much has been going on. I missed Hamvention, which is a pity, but uh, maybe next year. Um, but I did put together uh, an antenna that I was wanting to make for a while now. I saw this uh, YouTube video from K7RAW and he was making uh, antennas from pool noodles. And, um, and I have them right behind me. Um, basically, they're made out of pool noodles. And then uh, we run some PVC pipe and take some wire and wrap it around. And then there's, I made mine uh, so it can be broken down. So it'd be two pieces. These two pieces slide together like so. And then I just have a BNC. The guy that I got the idea from on YouTube, he, he, he did it all right and uh, ran coax down the center uh, of the PVC and made a connector at the bottom. So it's nice. It's a nice slick look. This one here, I did a couple, a couple of modifications. Let's, uh, let me see if I can, well, since I'm here at this angle, this is for 20 meters. So this wire I got is just, I got it from Lowe's. It is uh, for uh, like a garage door opener. It was just a roll of it. It's not stranded. It's just a solid core. And uh, I've been dying to use it for something. This seemed like uh, the perfect thing. So he, in his video, K7RAW, he uh, talked mostly about his 10 meter uh, antenna, but then he kind of briefly talked about the 20 meter. And I won wanted the 20 meter just because it'd be neat to have something I could kind of break down and have a somewhat portable package. Um, and also just curious to see if it worked. So this is made out of, um, I got a 10 foot piece of three quarter inch PVC and then I just cut it in half and then uh, uh, stuck it through the pool noodle. And then um, I wrapped the, uh, the wire around it 41 times on each side. So coming from each end 41 times and they're spaced one inch apart. So one inch apart, 41 times. At first I had one side like 43 and the other side like 44. I was like, that oh, should be close enough. Maybe I should pull it in with a, a antenna tuner. But no, it did not like that at all. It, uh, so I got it to 41 and 41. It seems to work okay. Now the big problem with this is I wanted to find an antenna I could use in the house. Just kind of set it in the corner. And um, uh, checking the SWR, working with the antenna tuner, it really didn't like it. It, um, if I moved it just a little bit, just leaned it this way or that way, the SWR just shoots everywhere. So we're gonna try it outside and uh, see if I have any better luck. Now, um, let, let me bring you in a little closer. Give me a second here. So this is your BNC post adapter contraption thing. So once the antenna is at, at the terminal point, uh, we just lock them down there. So one wire goes one way, one goes the other. Then I just connect coax to here. But so I, in order to break it down, I put these little, can you see that? Land focus, this is a huge waste of time. Come on, get in focus there. These little quick disconnects. So I just go boom and boom, connect these two together. Now if I want to break them apart, I just untwist it and then I'm apart. So the, um, this is like putting Legos together pretty much. So this is all three quarter inch PVC, but I already have a bucket with uh, PVC, I think it's one inch PVC outside. So I had to go to Home Depot, get the right adapter so this could set on the uh, thing outside. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna connect the wires here so everything's connected. And then we're gonna go outside and uh, see how this goes. Now, originally each, each leg was five foot, but uh, the 41 times wrapped around um, it gave me, made it a little shorter. I don't know the exact length. Uh, maybe I might put it in the notes. But as I uh, wound the wire, I just put packing tape just to kind of keep it there. And, uh, and also I have a rubber, rubber band at the end. Just packing tape. 
just kind of gets it so it kind of stays on the uh, pool noodle. And then, uh, and just to break it apart, I just break it apart just like that. Boom. Another thing I did was, this is not necessary, but I was trying to think maybe a way to make the neighbors not think I'm a total madman is to make some sleeves for it. So my wife is going to throw this away. So they're just big. I just sewed these together. So these can just slide into there. And then when it's uh, standing up on the stand, it looks um, just still ridiculous. All right, let's go check it out. Hmm, looks like we have a little storm coming. So I will check the radar and I might just go ahead and get lunch before I mess with the noodle. All right, so we got it connected up here. Got the coax connected, had to put an adapter there. And then we'll uh, zoom out. I have it on, here's that uh, little bucket with the PVC I was talking about. So, um, let's go back and focus, get a wider view. Sorry for the shakiness. So that's what it looks like. Looks ridiculous. All right, let's see if we get anything. All right, we're well, here is the moment of truth. Pulling on the SD. Oh, uh, turn on the um, Nina V and A. Now we're on uh, 40 meters, so let's go recall. I don't want to bump the camera. We'll go to to 20 meters. And nothing. What's going on? It's not cool. Um, what's any of these other ones now? Let's widen the net a little bit. Let's go stimulus, start, 12, still nothing, and uh, do 24, uh, there's our dip there. What is that? Where's that at? Okay, let's move the cursor there. That That's 15, 14 point, 880 megahertz and then down here is 14.5 so by this it needs to be longer but it's worked before huh uh, but it worked before what happened it's close and I don't feel like spending the afternoon jerking around with this stupid noodle so I'm gonna do something don't tell anybody I'm doing this we're gonna use a tuner pull it in um, so we get a good match for 20 let's see if we can make a contact I think if I clip here or there it'll we get it nice but like I said even if I move it around a little bit that SWR goes anywhere the fact that it's dipping as close as it, as it is, which is not really that close, I think we can pull it in, sweet talk it into making us a contact. So, all right, let's do that. Let's hook it up. All right, so let's uh, let's try to sweet talk this thing into working for us. So I want to go back to my memories and recall the 20 meter band. And that's the complete 20 meter band. And let's get that out of the way. And let's uh, see if we can pull it in pretty good. Ooh. So I'm going to go around 14.050 um, area, right about there. I think we're already getting, see? I touch it makes a big difference oh. oh I like that look at that all right let's lock her down all right I'm hearing some signal but I'm not hearing much in here and I know there's probably a little glare And you can see there's supposed to be a big contest going on. 
Um, and there's like seven parks on the air that are out there rocking it on 20 meters. And as Sylvester Stallone would say, I'm getting nothing. Nothing. It, nothing. Come on, man. Well, if I find something, we'll get back to you. So far, this little sucks. All right, so we're trying it again. Trying to look at, um, see what we got. I'm hearing stations, just no parks on the air action. What do we got over here? So I didn't, <laughs> I didn't expect this to be a super performer, but I thought we'd at least get a little more stations. Um, hmm. I mean, we got someone over there. Let's see if we can speed over there. See if, well. Let's go up to this area here, see if anything pops out. You know, I'm just not, just not feeling the needle, dog. All right. Um, stand by for my final conclusion. All right, so the pool noodle was a total bust. Um, was it a complete waste of time? Well, no. I mean, it, it kept me off the streets, okay? But um, like I mentioned before, I have made a contact with it in the living room and where this was set up in the corner. And if I just leaned it one inch this way, the SWR would be way off. If I pull, lean it back this way, it'd be on. And it just, it, um, it varied wildly. And the last time before I put it up, I had the same configuration on the back deck and it's, it was a uh, good SWR without the tuner. And this time I haven't done anything except maybe the position of the bucket might have been different, maybe closer to the gutters or something that threw it off. So it was really sensitive in that. So I wasn't gonna add wire, take away wire. It's just the juice ain't worth a squeeze. I've done it three times. I've added, added an, and subtract to try to get that perfect SWR. And it's just, um, just a cat chasing its tail. But um, it was a fun project. Like I said, kept me at, out of trouble. Um, if you, Anybody out there has success with one of these, let me know. I'd like to see it performing really well. Um, like I said, this is one of the major CW contests, uh, a worldwide, I can't remember what it is, CPX or something, going on, and the band should be flooded. Um, and I'm just getting little slivers of, the, of um, people out there. So anyway... Um, I won't wait so long until the next video, but um, until next time, 7-3.